Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, yet another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. Today we're looking at topic number 15 in spec which is all about prototyping. Uh, this is more of a subtopic um, of the previous topic uh, which is all about the software development life cycle. Um, so make sure you check that out if you uh, aren't familiar with that. Um, but let's get straight into this video. So um, let's have a look what a prototype is. So a prototype is simply an early model of a product built to show how the final product will work. So um, you know a prototype could be, uh, it's often considered maybe like if you're developing an invention you may show an early sign of it to investors or to potential customers just to show them what it will be like when it's actually finished. Um, but in computer sci uh, science prototyping is offering clients an opportunity to evaluate and view projects they have commissioned before they're finished. So you're, you're effectively a prototype in computer science is usually software or a application that is being built for clients, developed for clients. Um, so that that's where prototyping comes in in computer science. Um, you need to look at some advantages and disadvantages for prototyping. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, just first have a look at some advantages. Um, so uh, prototyping offers an early indication of whether or not the solution developed will actually meet the specification. So usually prototypes will um, be shown to a client in the early stage of the implementation site, um, section of the cycle, which again, if, you, if you're um, confused with that term, look at check out the last video. Um, so it means that some, some code has been written it will usually be a very basic version of the final solution, often emitting various different sections that may take longer to code. Um, so it's a very early indication. So for example, if the um, client takes a look at the prototype, realizes that actually it's not really what they required, it's not really what they talked about when they were an analyzing the specification, um, they will they can really sort it out at an early stage. Um, and as a following point, it actually offers the client a way to revise the specification if they realize something else is needed. So if they um, realize that actually, do you know what, it, the software won't work as well if we don't include this, they can actually go back and um, add that in without too much trouble because the implementation stage has barely begun at this, at this point in the cycle. So they can go back and um, add more stuff in um, as opposed to leaving it and then having to start pretty much from scratch. Um, so that's obviously a clear advantage. And finally, um, prototyping helps the client better understand the developing process so they can contribute more realistic ideas and more accurate feedback. So often the client, um, the reason they're commissioning developers to, to do this code is mainly because they don't really know what they're doing. Often um, they're, they're not you know, programmers themselves, so they maybe don't understand what is required um, at the, the, the developer's end. So prototyping shows them... Um, Sort of, sort of um, allows them to to better understand what is going on and how I guess the time scale of things um, because if if you don't know what's happening you you're not going to understand um, how the developers or how people are doing it so this is a way of showing the client what is happening at this stage um, obviously there are disadvantages as there is for every single thing in life that's just how it is there's always advantages always disadvantages so um, a disadvantage is that the, de the, de developers, the developers may spend too much time creating the prototype, which is only an example. So um, usually the prototype is meant to be almost discarded straight after it's shown to the client. Um, and the, like, like we discussed in the previous video, the implementation stage is, for, is by far the longest phase in the cycle. And if they spend too much time, time on only this very small example, then a lot of time and money will be wasted, um, which is not ideal. You, you, they, they, developers need to realize that it's not to be perfected. It's only a, um, a early model to be shown to the clients. So um, because of maybe as a following point, if they spend too much time, they may become so used to coding a prototype. Instead of discarding it and then starting from scratch, they may try and adapt the prototype to work. And if it hasn't been designed to work with a full solution, then there are going to be loads of issues and even more time will be wasted trying to get it to, to, to be fixed. Whereas maybe starting from scratch and doing it properly will be far um, far better for the developers and the client. Um, and finally, the clients may view the proto prototype as they see it. They may view it as simply an unfinished final solution. So they assume that 
a prototype is basically everything that they specified and so they may um, become they may um, become upset with the developers they may be concerned that they're not actually doing what they asked them to do they may not appreciate that it's simply only an only an example it's only an early model of their plans so it may only show one or one or two um, sections of their their plan um, and they may also for example if they if the developers omit something from their uh, plan in the thing in the uh, prototype they may go back and try and change it because they think that maybe it wasn't possible they don't realize that they just, they've not put it in just for ease and um, to save time so there can be quite a lot of confusion going on it must be clearly outlined to the clients from the developers um, and that's pretty much it for today's video uh, thanks a lot for watching um, and uh, yeah check out the future topics previous topics and I'll see you then bye